Well, hey friends, thanks for joining us for Kids Worship Online. This is our last lesson on Nehemiah, lesson seven. And we have talked about prayer, being obedient, helping others, being joyful. So today we're talking about, I will keep on worshiping God every day. So we're gonna get into how Nehemiah did and the people did and then how we can. But let's start with prayer, you ready? One, two, three. Gracious Father, we thank you for this day, for your blessings, for this time together. We thank you for all that we have learned about who you are and how we can worship you and live this life and be on this race and this journey together. We love you and praise your name. Amen. So we are on the great race and we are talking about our journeys um, as a Christ follower, as a follower of Jesus and how we are to live our lives. And like I said, our main point today is I will keep on worshiping God every day. In Nehemiah chapter 12, they dedicated the wall. That means they came all together with the Levite priests. So they had a group of priests, kind of like pastors, that came to give a blessing or dedication um, because they were done. We talked about that last week. They were done with the wall, and now they um, are going on to their next part of their journey and living their life. And so in chapter 12, verses 27, it says, At the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, the Levites, so those group of priests, were sought out from where they lived and were brought to Jerusalem to celebrate joyfully the dedication with song of thanksgiving and with music of harps. And the musicians were also brought from the region around Jerusalem. So they had basically a big party, a big worship service. And they did it with song and with thanksgiving. We sing uh, with worship songs, right? At church or at home, maybe you can listen to it or the radio. And we worship God through songs and through our voice. Worship is just not, it's not just about singing. No, worship is our action. So we worship God all the time. So when we do good things and when we're obedient, that's a worship to God. When you're reading his word, we are worshiping God. In Psalms, which is also found in the Old Testament, we read Psalms 145 verse 2 says, I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. So the Psalms is saying, I'm going to praise God all day long, every day, as long as I'm on this journey on earth. And then in heaven, it's a whole different story, a whole different praise time. So this week, as we wrap up this lesson, that's the biggest point is that this whole journey that we're on, this whole life that we have on this earth needs to be a life that's in worship to God. So our actions, our attitudes, uh, things that we do, our behaviors, all need to reflect our worship to God. So when you're playing a sport, and you're working really hard, that's an act of worship. You're playing hard, you're encouraging someone, you're having fun, you're being positive, you're being joyful, that's an act of worship. If you're playing an instrument, if you're doing your best, that's an act of worship. Or at school, when you have a test and you studied really hard and you do well, we do it for the Lord. We do our best for the Lord. When you're playing with your friends and you have a good attitude and you're sharing, that's a worship. And it's really cool when we come together on a Sunday morning or online, when we worship together as a family, that's just a really special time because it's usually a time where we're all together singing with our voices and worshiping in that way. So our main point, I will keep on worshiping God every day. So I have learned so much about Nehemiah in this study and his journey. And hopefully you have too in how we can live a life that God is calling us. No matter what we do in life or who you become as far as like a profession, we can continue to honor God and to bless God and to grow closer to him. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for being with me during this journey of Nehemiah and looking at some different main points and different scripture and how we are to live. Take a take a, some time to look at the discussion guide, talk about worship as a family, and spend some time in worship. There's some worship songs on the website or you can go to YouTube and find a ton of worship music that you can worship together through song. And then you can talk about other ways that you can worship God as well. So have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.